Hello everyone and welcome back to Forensic Solutions. I hope you all are doing good. To continue with our cloud forensic tutorial, here we are with the third tutorial where you will understand about the investigation of cloud storage services. And for those who haven't watched our previous video, I'll mention the link in the description box. And yes, do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to watch amazing videos on cyber forensic and cyber security. And now let's get started with the video. The cloud storage service that you will understand today is Dropbox. Dropbox kya hota hai? And if anything has been happened with the use of Dropbox and you have to conduct the investigation for it, to aap investigation kaise conduct karoge? What would be the tools used for the investigation? These all things will be taught in this video. So now first understand about Dropbox. Dropbox is an online application that allows users to store their files on cloud and share them when required. Users can also access Dropbox through website, mobile or desktop. Dropbox creates artifacts on a system that may provide relevant information to the cyber forensic investigator to perform investigation or analysis. Also, Dropbox server keeps information like logs and user files history. Dropbox jo hai, ye even app, it can be available, it is available in two to three types as in a trial version is available for it. That is you can get a trial version of 30 days as you can see here. This is the website of Dropbox. From here you can, you know, purchase Dropbox. You have to just click for the option of get started. Get started ke option mein aap jaise choose karoge, waise aapko yahan pe bohat sare options dikhenge. You can choose for built monthly or built yearly. Aapko kaise billing karna hai yearly or monthly. And accordingly aap yahan se choose kar sakte ho ki aapko kaun sa uh, Dropbox use karna hai. Jaise yahan pe you can see ki aap ek free version use kar sakte hai. After using the free version you can go for the uh, commercial ones. And, and now this was all about Dropbox. But now um, let's see ki what artifacts can be left on Dropbox. The very first thing is deleted files. So what is deleted files? When a, user, when a user deletes file from Dropbox, it does not get deletes permanently as it gets stored in the deleted files folder unless and until it is deleted from that folder. Investigator can log into the account of user and recover those files from the deleted files folder. For a free version, deleted files are kept for 30 days and for the commercial version, they are kept as it is until and unless it is deleted. deleted. As you can, just say feature hota hai hamara windows, when files delete karte hai, it goes into the recycle bin and we can restore that files until and unless we delete it permanently. Same goes for the Dropbox. Dropbox may be a deleted files ko option hota hai. Jisse ki aap jo bhi files, aap jo whatever the files are, they do not get deleted permanently. You can recover it from the deleted files uh, option. Next comes is last browse sessions. Ab ye bhi ek artifact hai jo Dropbox mein reh sakta hai, which is investigator can also view the last browser session which can be essential artifact. Investigator can search for it by going on to settings and security and this will be redirected to a page where all the information is displayed about the logging information such as date, time and location from which user had logged into the account. The devices section also displays all the linked devices such as mobile, laptops and desktop. Ye ho gaya second artifact. Next comes is EVH. Ab EVH. EVH means extended version history which is one of the feature of Dropbox where the previous and deleted version of all files are saved by default. With the EVH, investigator can also find some crucial data related to the crime. Next comes is Dropbox also comes with a feature of event log where it records all the activities performed on Dropbox folders. Investigators can use this feature to track the account activities. This feature can reveal details like accounts connected, changes made in the account, type of action, time or action and also target of action. This was the fourth artifact which can be left on Dropbox. Next comes is if the investigator does not have access to the user's Dropbox as in humne pehle artifacts mein dekha tha, that is user needs uh, that is the investigator needs to have the access of the user's uh, user's account wherein he can find the deleted files or he can find the event logs or others. 
but if it does not have any access to the user dropbox account then they can find the crucial information from the program files where the system saves dropbox files in c drive as the application uses this folder as default folder to synchronize all the files next is investigator can also review the registry files of registry files also these files can also be investigated by the investigator on the dropbox and now in the coming videos we will see about the tools that can be used on dropbox by investigation as the above investigation can be done manually so stay tuned for our upcoming video and yes do comment down if you have any doubts related to the dropbox or if you have any doubts related to artifacts or you want me to explain something more related to dropbox so do comment down and yes thank you so much for watching stay safe stay secure